guys it's Ramona welcome back to my channel uh, today's video will be a little bit different uh, I want to talk about reading slums or mood reading and I want to know what you guys what your thoughts are on if your mood impacts what you read when you read how you read and all of that so that's what we'll be talking about today so um i'm not sure what to call what i'm experiencing right now but i find myself reading four books yes guys four books because nothing is connecting and i don't know it was like a i'm going through a funky time and that is impacting my reading but i'll go through the four books that i'm reading right now uh just to talk about them and they're actually pretty good books so i'm sure it has nothing to do with the books it's just me and i guess understanding what's going on with me so the first book i'm reading is johnny appleseed by joshua whitehead and this book actually is the winner for the CBC Canada Reads 2021. It's written by um, Joshua Whitehead, and he is um, a two-spirited Indiquaire, um, and he's Native Indian. So this book basically follows his, his journey, his life, and I am only 40 pages in. I like the book, but I'm struggling a little bit with the beginning of it, but I'm, I'm, I will continue to read it and I'm thinking it will turn around. The concerns I'm having with it so far, one, it reads like somebody's journal, um, which I don't know if that's a bad thing. And all of what I'm reading so far is really about his sexual escapades and the things that he's had to do to get by. So I'm not connecting with it yet. And I think that's what the issue is. I heard something recently. It was JL Richardson who had said this in a Zoom conversation that I participated in with her. And she said, there are certain books that it's just not the time um, for the book. So it's not that I wouldn't enjoy this book at another time. I just don't know that it's the right, right moment. So I'm going to try to finish it. Or we'll see because it really is a short book it's only 200 and it's 219 pages and typically this is a book that I can finish in in two days if I'm reading in the evenings or in a day if I'm reading it on the weekend because I've finished books that's close to 400 pages in a day but it's not connecting with me right now so I may put it to rest for a little while and then go back to it so we'll see the second book I'm reading right now is The Last Train to Key West by Chanel Clayton. And I need to read this book. <laughs> I actually need to get through it because it is a library book that I need to, to return. And I've had it for quite some time and I've renewed it already once. So I'm trying not to renew it again. And there's also a new book um, that follows this one that just got released last week. And I got it brand new from the library. So I want to get to that, but I want to read this one first. I'm liking this one so far. I'm not very far in. I am on page 22. So this book follows three different women who are in Key West. So there is Helen, um, Myrta, and Elizabeth. So far, um, I've been introduced to Helen and Myrta. So I am actually right at the chapter where we were starting Elizabeth's story so um, I like it I think I'll finish it soon but again it's it's weird like I'm not feeling like reading it all the time I've liked it so far I'm not feeling like like if I'm reading even though I was reading, reading on the weekends I didn't read a lot just because it was so nice out and I spent most of the time outside but I still in the little time that I had to read I was not being pulled to it I just don't know why. And then the next book that I'm reading is People We Meet on Vacation. 
and this is a book that just got released last week i want to say i'm so excited to read this book it's probably the only one of the four that i'm reading that i find myself reaching for whenever i find a moment to read um i'm on page 40 right now and this follows alex and poppy who are basically were best friends something happened they're no longer friends they're reconnecting and we'll figure out what happens but it's a love it's a love story so this is a rom-com um this one is a historical fiction and chanel clinton she has there are two books that preceded this one and um they're all based on like cuban cuban characters that are in the states and then this one is a memoir so i'm doing a mix of a mix of everything and this one is a rom-com so this book is actually by Emily Henry, and she also wrote Beach Read, which was one of the biggest rom-coms uh, last year in the summer. And I really enjoyed Beach Read, so I am looking forward to reading this one. But again, because I'm reading four things, I'm having guilty feelings of spending too much time on this one, but, but we'll see. So I'm also reading a fourth book. And the fourth book I'm reading, it's on my Kindle because it's an advanced reader copy of a book and I have it in ebook form. So it's called The Devil and the Harris by Harper St. George. And Harper St. George also wrote The Harris Gets the Duke, which is also a historical romance. And I really loved this book. I spoke about it in my March wrap up, I believe. And it was like a five-star read for me, so I'm super excited to read this one. I am 23% in, so I'm not doing too badly. So yeah, I'm reading four books, guys, and I don't know what's happening. Does this happen to you where you're reading? So and why it started is because like I'm reading something and I'm like, okay, this is not hanging on to me, so let me start something else. And then I start something else and I'm like, this is not hanging on to me, let me start something else. We'll see how much reading I can get done this week and how many of these books I can actually finish because sooner or later I'm going to start feeling <laughs> super guilty about not getting any of these um, finished. And I actually do have a couple body reads that I need to get done before the end of the month. So I need to get Lucky by Marissa Strapley uh, finished. And I also need to get The Simply Wild by T. Tucker. Um, for my book club and also arsenic and adobo i think that's what it's called i need to get that one read for another buddy read as well so something's gotta happen soon because your girl has got books to read so anyway i just wanted to give you guys an update on what is happening in my re reading world like it's very weird for me to be in this place and i just wanted to talk through that with you guys tell me like do you experience this what do you do when you're experiencing this um, and I also find myself too, and I don't know if it's because I'm super stressed at work and things like that, like I am going more towards lighter reads and maybe that's why like um, Johnny Appleseed is so hard for me to get through right now because it does have some heavier moments in it, right? Um, and I just feel like I need lightness in my life. I read for fun. So like when I read, I want it to be fun. Like I know there are a lot of people who are like, Oh, you have to be learning something all the time or certain people who only read nonfiction, but I read for fun and to stress, release stress and escape from this world. Um, so maybe that's why I'm going more towards like lighter stuff right now. So enough of my rambling. That's just an update, a reading update on my crazy reading world. Um, is this book on your summer read? It's, it's this book is all over bookstagram like everybody's reading this book and the reviews have been really good so i'm super excited to finish it and as i said i love this one so i think i love it too and there are people who actually said this is better so that's always good news um so thank you guys for listening to me rambling on about what's going on in my reading world um if you like this video please subscribe um please like please comment tell me if you guys experience this i want to know if i'm crazy am i crazy to be like reading four books at once is that normal tell me if that's considered normal for you um so thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one
Bye. Happy reading.